And you know what? Uh, after this little scene over here, let's call this an episode and a stream. To warehouse A. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. You know what? Actually, how about we do the notary? How about we do the game? And then, well, it depends on how long this episode is gonna be. It might go a little bit longer, uh. But, uh, why not? Why not? Let's do it. After we, after we make our choice, we shall end up so. We pushed through the magenta door and ran into the warehouse. There stood Phi D O and K. Hey, what the hell, guys? Why did you open the A B gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Of course we do. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. This isn't about promises. Are you stupid or just an asshole? Probably both. We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And Miyoji, Quark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Didn't you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Pretty straightforward to me. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally, and all three of them will get two BP. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Yeah, he didn't get the note Ten that Miyoji's we got. only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. Um, didn't you guys find a note? What? What's this? We found it in our safe. Read it. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. Sure you weren't. Really? Of course. I don't know if he had a ponytail. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized, yes. I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. He seemed a little off before we headed into the chromatic doors. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Alice? She was just she was here just a minute ago. It's 
It took me only a moment to spot her. She was a several yards away, kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What was she looking at? What she was looking at, I couldn't tell. I was about to head over it and see what was going on when... Hey guys, Quark. has Quark been here? Did something happen to him? He disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? I mean? He's gone. We can't find him anywhere. When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. Tenmyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but. When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. All right. We need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the Floor A rooms, we'll move to Floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Right. You do that. Hey, Quark, Quark. Not here. Not in here either. He's not here. I checked both rooms. He's not in the other two either. There's no one here. Ten Mildred and Kay are in the lounge. And David and Luna should be checking the infirmary. Right. Okay, let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Let's go. And do you know what sucks? We can't skip this. We can't skip this at all. It just adds on. Just, uh. Just keep on going. You went through the red door, D, D on K, yeah. right? So? What was on the other side of that door? You wanna see it? Yeah. Maybe Quark went there. Fine. Follow me. This is... The pantry. Pantry? That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Wasn't half bad, actually. You ate it? Yeah. There was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, yukijang, borscht, and tom kha gai. Uh... In English, please? Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. And you're not fat? That's a lot of Can't food! I'm a growing girl. Sure you are. How old are you? 20, I think. Hey, she's my age. Hey, five, uh, no, wanna go out? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just stop. I don't even know where to start here. One, by the time you hit 20, you're done growing. Two, you think you should be old enough to know how old you are. Three, how on earth are you 20? You look, you look like you're 13 if you're a day. I can't believe you're only two years younger than me. <laughs> now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Oh, give me a break, you little Don't punk. Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. Excuse me? <laughs> Ugh. Fine, whatever. So this place has enough food to keep people alive for a few years, huh? Looks like this stuff isn't going to expire anytime soon. Yeah. The use-by date is about a hundred years from now. How about water? There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Is it safe? Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. You made him drink it to make sure it was safe? I guess you could say that. So you ate all the food without a second thought, but the water struck you as possibly dangerous? No, I was careful with the food too. Dio had some of it first and it seemed fine, so I... Oh, I almost forgot. Dude, what, what? I ate something else. Twice cooked pork. I'm done with you. <laughs> we were freaking talking about twice cooked pork with the gold. We're talking about it now. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Why the hell are you shouting like about that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Twice cooked pork? Well, that just reminded me of something. Reminded you of what? This might seem hard to believe at. Bullshit. Oh, come on, at least let me tell you first. Alright. I explained how we found a room called the Golem Bay on the other side of the green door, and how we met a robot there named Golem who told us who told a very interesting story. And there it goes on to explain. I see. So the Gollum guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. Yeah. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Yeah. Right in the middle. Middle could be from Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Well, this was utterly pointless. Really? I don't think so. Please, explain. <laughs> well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words... Sigma! Fi! What's up, Luna? There you are! I've been looking all over for you! What's going on? Something bad! Something really bad! Well, come on, spill it! Alice... Alice is... Ah. Oh. Just no. come with me. She's in the crew quarters. Wait, we were just there. Th this is totally not necessary for us to see, but... I mean, this map part, but... Oh, what's going on with Alice? Oh... What? No. This isn't real. All I could hear were Zero's words echoing in my ears. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. If you've never been in turbulence, it, it's hard to explain. You feel the sun, alien weightlessness of a long fall. And for a moment, 
you're painfully aware of the fact that you're thousands of feet above the earth in a flimsy machine made of fallible men kept aloft by a scientific principle that nobody actually understands if you've never seen a f friend dead it's hard to explain but it's a little like that I kneel down beside Alice's body and press a shaky hand to her throat no pulse her skin had already turned pale the thing in front of me looked human looked like a human being but it wasn't a human being any longer why hadn't why had this happened I kneeled there for several long moments staring blankly ahead my throat burned and my chest was tight by first by I forced myself to take three progressively calmer breaths and stood I clenched my fist took one last breath and turned who found her first me I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and, well, you know the rest. You don't look sad or anything. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? You better not be thinking I did it. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Hey, fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. So you're already saying it's someone killed her. How do you know she was murdered? Yeah. What? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? All you can see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well, yeah, I guess that's true, but, but I mean, come on, who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Why? I don't know why they gave her that smile. This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. Clover. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. I'll find out who killed you. And I'll... I'll... Hey, Clover. Shut up! Whoa, what? What? Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Her voice shook as she spoke. Before anyone could say anything, she turned and ran out the room. Wait! Clover, come back! Ten Miyoji took off in pursuit. I made to follow when. It's pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. Hmm? Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please go ahead. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have none. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? You are correct. 
but only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. What do you mean? Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure in a world of his own creation. Hmm. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather disturbed. Hold on a minute. The, that doesn't mean they're one of us. There could be a tenth person hiding out somewhere. No. Well, why not? There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. Hmm. Well, he could notice, but not tell us. did notice? I really don't think he just let something like that slide. Hmm. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Well, what if the tenth person is Zero Senior? Not possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Do you remember? He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. I thought about what Kay said. If the killer was Zero Senior, then who could be the killer? Dio? Luna? K perhaps? Or maybe Clover? There was always 10 Miyoji. 5 maybe? Well, Fi's out of the question because she was with us the whole time. No, it couldn't be her. I've been with Fi the whole time we were looking for a cork. There was no way she could have slipped away and to slap, to stab him out in the chest. Wait a minute. There was one person I've forgotten. Cork. It seemed like a bit of a stretch to think a kid could kill someone of Alice's size, though. That meant there were five real suspects. Dio, Luna, Kay, Clover, and Tenmyoji. Hmm. Where had Quark gone? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. <laughs> What do you mean? We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. As such, I recommend we follow them. The others filed out of the room. I turned to face Alice. Alice. I'll find out who did this to you. I promise. I felt my stomach settle back into its normal configuration, and the fire in my chest melted the ice icy hand from my spine. I stood up straight, 
gave Alice one last nod, and walked after the others, leaving my regrets lying on the cold floor. Hey, look. Two of the AB gates are closed already. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Well, I'd rather not say it. Yeah. I know. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen ally regardless. I mean... Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Oh, You warmed my heart, Luna. Really? Haha. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. One of you guys picks Betray, we are gonna get a show. Dio! Ignore him. How do you and Fi plan to vote? You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose ally. Or you both can choose Betray. How about that? Seems easy to me. Neither of you get points. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Fi, if you had the desire to. Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? <laughs> the nerve. Um... What? This is just a thought, but... Why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty... negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But, Fi... Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Oh, you mean Alice. Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing Betray every time is hardly ideal. We'd never escape. Then, what are you going to do? Mm. Kay needs to choose Ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that you'll choose Ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well, yes, I suppose so. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Dio. 
Huh? There's someone behind you. What? The moment Dio turned his head, Fi was off. With seemingly superhuman strength, she leapt she leapt through the air, across the room, and through the AB gate. What the fuck? You bitch! God damn it, Fi! Open this fucking door! He pounded on the door, screaming, but showed no signs of opening again. Fuck! He gave the door one last slam for good measure, then ran to the next open one. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Why the fuck not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? <sighs> this is bullshit. I see. This is how Fi can guarantee her choice. Dio can vote now, so the chance that Fi will choose Ally just went way up. After all, if you pick Ally and she betrays you, Dio then will have nine points. Exactly. But don't you think Fi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Fi is going to choose Ally, then you needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. Two minutes remain. Until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Right. Okay. Um, Sigma? Hmm? You, you are going to choose Ally, right? Of course. Yo, I, I was saying, of course, and then, oh, hey, pops up. <laughs> we both have 5 BP right now. Even if I did betray you, I don't get 3 points. That's not enough to escape. So I have to wait until the next round anyway. Make sense? I, I see. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. Anyway, you promised. You have to choose ally. Right. I will. So, we're going to start. Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But, what if she was lying to me? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I, I trust him. Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to ally. The vote has been recorded. Please Round wait. Round two of the Ambidex game. Has been completed. And this is where we're going to end off this stream. Yeah, I think this is uh, about three hours again. I started streaming at 10 and it's almost 1.15. So, yeah, I guess about 
three hours or so <laughs> so uh yeah i'd like to thank you guys for coming out uh if you're on twitch don't forget to follow this channel so you guys can get notified of when i stream and uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, bear, share with all your friends. Check out links in the description below for all my social media links like Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Power out. Yeah.